YouTube, welcome to my channel. I'm Pa Graybeard, at least that's what my granddaughter likes to call me. About 30 years ago, I started driving a truck, and not long ago, I finally started over here. This is uh, pretty much turned out to be like a dream job, probably where I'm gonna retire from, I hope to. But anyway, we uh, haul bikes, and we haul some pretty unique old bikes that uh, I find interesting. Uh, it's my bike here, 2019 Harley, but I like all bikes. That's the way I ride, but uh, I like seeing, looking at all the old bikes. Thought maybe you would too. So that's what this channel is going to be about. I'm going to share some bikes and some information. I will never share any personal information. Please don't ever ask. This is about the bikes. Uh, I won't divulge where it's going, who owns it, nothing. And my company won't either, so please don't ask. Just enjoy the bikes. So, hope you like it. Alright, here we have our first 1936 Indian 4. Good looking bike. It's a 77 cubic inch, 1265 cc, 35 horsepower, weighed 515 pounds, had drum brakes front and rear. Indian fours were manufactured between 1928 and 1942. Uh, some of the information I was able to find out was that it was acquired from the Ace Motor Company in 1927. And the 36 and 37 models were the least popular models because they had switched from their inlet over exhaust engine to an exhaust over inlet cylinder heads, which in theory they said would improve fuel vaporiz vaporization and made the engine more powerful. However, it also made the cylinder head and the rider's end seems very hot. And also with the constant adjustment to the exhaust valve train caused the sales to drop. In 1937, they added a dual carburetor on that model but still didn't seem to help to correct the problem. So in 1938, they went back to the inlet over exhaust engine. At least popular mile or not though, it's still a good looking bike. All right, here we have a 1912 Harley-Davidson 8. It's a 4.3 horsepower, single cylinder, direct drive belt. Two 235-pound bike. 56.5 inch wheelbase. Alright, here we have a 1920 Indian 
Daytona Dirt Track Racer. It's a 22 horsepower side valve V twin single speed direct drive transmission has a 53 inch wheelbase it's not equipped with brakes chain drive push start Pretty good looking old Indian. Okay, here we have a 1941 Indian Scout Sport. This thing has 15 horsepower. Weighs 450 pounds. Has a top speed of 65 mile an hour. And it looks like there was about 550 of these produced. Alright, this here is a 1942 Harley Davidson WLD. It's a 45 cubic inch, three speed manual converted to a foot shift. Five hundred and thirty pound bike, fifty seven point five inch wheelbase. The dominator reads thirty nine thousand and thirty eight miles. All right, here we have. 1949 Harley Davidson service car. And these were manufactured between 1932 and 1973. It has 750 cc, 24 horsepower, and Pretty decent clean bike. I don't know if that's right. 38 miles on it. <laughs> wow. Alright. And right over here next to it, a little bit of modified version. But it is a 63 Harley Davidson service car. There you go.